Heyo, this is Brando, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This one is definitely going to be a full let's play through. It's just that I couldn't go on with the other file simply because of the fact of that my internet connection made the quality of the let's, let's play with the face cam pretty bad. I cannot play that. You as as watchers do not deserve to see crap of vision. So you know what, we're going to play this. And just before we start off, know this. This is on New Game Plus. And if anybody's going to go on saying like, oh, you should play the Let's Play like from start to finish. Either way, it's good. you're going to see the exact same thing. And it's like, at least now I have a little bit better equipment that I can feel comfortable with. So I can concentrate without having to worry about me dying. I know I'm going to die. It's the simplest fact of that. Even though I've been playing this game for almost 200 hours, almost 200 hours maybe, I still die a lot either way enjoy this cinematic that you're going to be watching and i hope you enjoy yes indeed it is called lothbrook where the transitory lands of the lords of cinder converge Venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old world. The fire of their gates, and the lords they without brains. And now the story begins of our playthrough. Now, there's a little idea that I came up with that I'll be telling a story through an, abitch, uh, an abyss watcher going back towards his brothers in arms, which you'll be seeing me now being as the abyss watcher. I've gotten the weapons and the armor from the other one. That's also why I want to do this playthrough in new game because now I have weapons and such like that and I can make, do like cosplays and certain things like that. But either way, let the story begin of Hey Ho Brando, 
the Abyss Watcher. And I've been, I've been loving this game. Like, yes, when I first played this game, this game kicked me in the ass repeatedly over and over again. And it's going to be a little bit difficult because how I was, I was so used of a, of a much shorter sword that had a much quicker um, attack, attack, attack speed. And this one is like much, much more slower. Like, look at that. Like, that is slow. But for playthrough wise and for cosplay wise, we're going to play it as such. Now, for anybody that is playing the game regularly, right here you would find um, an SS, a blue SS flask that would help you with your FP or your blue mana bar. But either way. Oof. That's a, that's a pretty good backstab. Um, now, even though I have played this game a lot of times, doesn't mean I know where everything's at. Well, how did that miss? Doesn't mean that, um, oh crap. Even though, pfft, I really gotta learn how to properly say stuff. And that's gonna bug me too, how I can't just block anymore. But, even though I know where I've been playing this game a long time, like, like I said, 200 hours, doesn't mean I know where everything's at. So please bear in mind that anybody, when people watch this, that if you notice I haven't collected everything, this is not a 100% playthrough. This is simply just a playthrough. It's not a walkthrough where I'm going to be finding every little piece of trinket. So trust me, if you're looking for a walkthrough, you got better chances of finding other YouTubers that do much better jobs than, than I would ever do. Because I don't have the patience to do a 100% walkthrough. Trust me on that. Oh shit. Okay phone, please stop doing that. Tiny night scale. Yeah. And for people that wonder what those things are, those are actual crystal lizards that have taken in souls. Like, if I read what their equipment says, and when I find some things, I'll read what their things say. Like, see, like I already have a whole bunch of stuff. Titanite scale. Uh, Titanite altered by soul, reinforced souls, transport weapons to plus four. Weapons forged by soul, transparent, transparent can only be reinforced by Titanite of the same kind. In rare cases, crystal lizards devour souls, growing to monstrous proportions and leaving these giant scales. I won't read every little bit of thing. Like when I see something I find interesting, I'll read what it says. But I'm not going to read every little thing because now with me unable to do live streams with the face cam, I can only do up to 30 minute videos. So some videos are going to be 20 minutes, some videos are going to be up to 25. It's just that I didn't want to deal with the whole fact of um, horrible, horrible quality in a game. Like a game like Dark Souls does not deserve crappy graphics or like I call crap -a vision but either way, we're on our way to our first boss. Hopefully we can get through, and um, whenever I s meet a character, I will exhaust their dialogue so that... Oh. Wow. Um, so that will probably take time. Maybe this episode will be dealing with the boss and also dealing with the... Um, um, the Firelink Shrine. And if we have time, we'll do a little bit of... Aw, oh, come on. We'll do a little bit of um, High Wall of Lothric. Now, even though I have beaten the game and all that, like, I know how... I know there's some tricks and all that. That, like, um... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm strong enough as a character-wise right now that I could fight a boss early on that would get me into a whole bunch of early stuff in the game. I'm not gonna do that. Oh crap. Oh crap. What the f I'm not gonna do that. Oh, that was horrible. I I shouldn't have let that happen like that. Wait, did that thing just drink an Estes flask? I've never seen them drink Estes flask before. That's weird. Either way. Um, even though I possibly could defeat like a boss really early on. Because there's a couple of bosses I, would, I could easily defeat early on in New Game Plus, and that would be Dancer of the Boreal Valley and also the Costume King. Hell, I could go and fight the Nameless King in like the first couple of episodes, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to play this game as if 
we're following the same rules of regular souls like if i haven't been like that i know it's weird i know it's silly but gonna have to deal anyway here's the first boss let's take out this sword and get some when you pull out the swords like this get a couple of good swings on him because like you can already take out ha health off of him like how much yeah like look how much health i took off already from him oh you hit hard oh you really hit hard oh no 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 ink bleeder sorry i really can't talk right now Ooh. Come on. Oh crap. Come on. Yes. Whoa. Oh fuck. You little dick waffle. You goddamn dick waffle. Praise the motherfucking sun. <laughs> so yeah, if I was in regular game that would have gone way differently way differently by the other way wait was that guy always just chilling there huh i'll have to sneak up on him and see about that huh. if people don't like this then it's like you don't have to watch it you don't have to watch it because like some people i know people are going to say in the comment section oh it's cheap you're a new game plus you're already overpowered beyond belief yeah, well, I'm also going to keep my soul level at 120, because that's the meta level in Dark Souls. I'm not going to make my character an overpower, because I want to do cooperation. I want to do extra little things with this character-wise. Like, maybe, like, oh, maybe, like, some, like, cosplay invasions. Like, you know, like, um, invade as Autorius the Abyss, Abyss Watcher, or the Abyss Watchers as a whole. Um, other people as well, like. Like if I can think of anything for character wise what I can do, I would I'm gonna do it. Why is he just staring off? Shh. Bye. <laughs> I'm a horrible little bastard, I know I am. But either way, um I'm gonna see how I won't why did I heal? I should not have done that. There's a weapon that's really, really good for people that want to do a dex spell. It's the uh, Uchi Katana. Great, great samurai sword or katana for um, katana bills. And this guy, for beginners, is tough as nails. Ooh, like, look at... What the... Whoa, 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 whoa. When did you start hitting like that? Ooh, this one's gonna be... Wow, you hit harder than the boss does. But I hit harder. Shit. Ooh. This guy's actually doing a lot more stuff than the boss would. Sorry, buddy. But... Give me your stuff. <laughs> And oh, I wonder why this is not open like you would think so. <laughs> but anyway, we're doing pretty good so far. And if people want to see me play as a cosplay, like I have other armor sets and all that. And if you want to see me play as that character, simply put it in the comment section. If I have the armor, I'll wear it. If not, I'll apologize and say, unfortunately, no. If people want me to, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a little challenge like that. Each episode I'll play as a different um, character if that's what you want. But until I get something along the lines of like a request of an armor or character-wise to play as, I'm going to keep playing as the Abyss Watcher until the, um... Oh, that's my, that's my um, message. I can't believe that's even there too. I'm going to... That just proves even more. Either way. 
Is that logic? Yeah, that's high logic castle. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna keep on going on. And like I said, there's gonna be some characters in here where the, we're gonna exhaust their dialogue. But here it is. Fire Lane Shrine. In all its glory. Anyway, let's go start talking to some NPCs. Well then. Alright. So that's pretty much the same thing. This must be the fire... Well, of course it's the fire keeper. About to go back well. Alright, so for anybody that's never played a Souls game, and this is like the first Dark Souls game you've ever seen, the Firekeeper is pretty much your leveling up system. Um, I don't know why I skipped that. You can pretty much level up here. Like, here are all my stats right here, of course. But, um, you got your Vigor, which increases your health. Atonement, that also brings up um, your Atonement slots, and also your FP, which is also your mana. Endurance that brings up your stamina mostly. Um, vitality that brings up your equipment load, meaning you wear heavier things and still move quickly. Strength, self-explanatory. Dexterity, pretty much the same thing. This helps you with uh, more skillful, skillful weapons. You would need dexterity to level up. Intelligence and faith are for your m magic using or miracle wielding. And luck, this is different. As you can see, item discovery. When I bring it up, it goes up. Self-explanatory, pretty much. Um, what this does is that the item discovery goes up more. Even though it says 107, it um, doesn't mean I have a 100% chance of me finding some stuff. Anyway, there's a little Easter egg. I want to see if this actually works. Are you going to work? Huh. Guess not. Okay, so this is pretty much your shrine handmaiden, pretty much as the name says. She will sell you items. Um, this is always good at the beginning. Yes, it's 20,000 souls. I can afford it because I'm a new game plus. But that also helps with the alternate ending. This uh, There's our four alternate endings in Dark Souls. I'm going to buy it simply for the simple fact of getting it because I need it later on in the story. Uh, get more of this just in case. And other things. Now, she's going to ask you for Umbreon Ashes, so we're going to keep talking to her and just exhaust the dialogue. Really? Sup on death? Okay, yeah, bring you more souls. And this is also a recurring character from Dark Souls 1. Yeah, my 
purpose. All right, so can we reinforce anything? I have some boss weapons. Again, if you don't like it, please do not bug me. I already said it many times that if you don't like the idea of me doing it such like this, you don't have to watch it. I'm not asking you to, but either way. Uh, so I need about 10 faith and 10 that. I'll probably level that up because this is a weapon I pretty much want to I want to wield later on. So I'll probably level up that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll just go around the rest of the Fire Lake Shrine. And I think that'll be it for the video for today. I mean, like, we'll go around, see if he has any other dialogue and all that. And I know there's another character. This would be where you'll find your faith. And I believe, if I remember correctly, there's a Pyromancer, uh, a Witch, a Miracle, someone who also, another wares person that you can send on Pilgrims to find more equipment. Um, and I can't remember if there's another one. Another sorcerer, but he's only there for a little bit. What ending are we going to do? Well, I haven't really decided yet. Do we want to do um, the good the good air quotation ending by Link in the Fire? Uh, denounce the Fire? All this other stuff. But either way, there's one other character here. And we'll talk to him. The only Lord of Cinder who haven't left. But I think also because he has no legs. But... Well then, buddy. <laughs> that sounds a little bit creepy. But yeah, five thrones. So that means there's one, two, a three, and a four lords we have to find. Simple enough. But either way, let us ember the coil sword. Burn. Bonfire lit. Now, pretty much like in other Dark Souls games, you you can um, trap. This one you can fast travel like all the other, like, okay. Uh, like in the other Dark Souls. Um, oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really tired today. I should not have done a video, but I really want to. I really want to do a real Let's Play for a long time on here, but... Either way, you get fast travel once you find them, and at the beginning, you're going to have the three SS flask. You can find other SS flask shards later on, and yes, I can turn into a dragon. I'm not going to do that now. But um, before anything else, before I end this video, I'll head off to uh, High, Lo High Wall of Lothric. You'll see a little bit of that. We'll link the first, we'll hit the first bonfire. Wait, I don't know why I'm going. This is the fire. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm going to Lothric. Take nourishment. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Faith. Oh, really? Yeah, like... Uh, God damn it, 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 God damn Alright, anyway. Let's bring my intelligent up, because I'm going to need him. Because my, my goal in this one is to... Bring every NPC here. And one of them, you need about ten intelligence, so you can so you can show that you're not stupid. Either way, let's teleport to the only place right now, High Wall of Lothric, and we'll see where we go from there. Now, if you've noticed how quickly the transpire was from here to from the fire link, it's because I edited it out. I'm not gonna let you sit down and watch a whole let, um, edit thing, because that's almost like thirty seconds, pretty much of wasted thing on me but either way 
say hello to the high wall of Lothric. Now let's go link the first fire, and I want to see if like if, and wow, what's that? That's a dark spirit. Yeah, so it just goes to show that everything is over here. And as you can see, I'm also part of the Sunlight Covenant. I'm going to show you, not where, I'll show you where a lot of them are. Because um, the the Sun one is actually not like on a covenant. You got to find the medallion before you can do the covenant. But either way, this has been the first one as it is. Like uh, really, we're just scraping off the top of what uh, Dark Souls really is. And I hope I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more better on the edit because I'm using this on the PlayStation 4. So my editorial skills, not all that great. But either way, this is Heyo Brando. And remember, praise that sun.